Hey there, fellow manifestors. Welcome back to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel, where we turn your wildest dreams into reality. Today, we're diving into a super juicy topic. Trust the universe for manifestation success in any area of your life. Trusting the universe isn't just about crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. It's about having unwavering faith that what you desire is already yours, even if it hasn't shown up yet. Now, we know that trusting the universe can sometimes feel like trusting a toddler with your favorite vase, terrifying. But fear not, we're here to help you understand why this trust is crucial and how it can lead to awesome manifestations in 2024. Whether you're looking to manifest a new job, a dream home, or just a killer pair of shoes, trusting the universe is the secret source that makes it all possible. And before we dive deeper, a quick reminder, we've been shadow banned. Yep, even the universe has a sense of humor. So, we need your help to spread the love and wisdom. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Together, we can positively impact the lives of over 11 million people by the end of 2024. Let's make the universe work for all of us. So, grab your favorite manifestation journal, get comfy, and let's explore how trusting the universe can transform every area of your life. Trust us, by the end of this video, you'll be ready to let go of doubt and embrace the magic of the universe. Let's get started. Understanding the universe's plan. Alright, let's start with the basics, the universe's plan. Think of the universe as the ultimate project manager, orchestrating all the elements needed to bring your desires into reality. But here's the catch, the universe operates on its own timeline and in ways that might surprise you. Sometimes it delivers exactly what you asked for, and other times it sends something even better, like that one time you wanted a puppy but ended up with an adorable piglet instead. So, why should we trust this cosmic project manager? Because the universe has a bird's eye view of your life. It sees all the connections, opportunities, and timing that we, with our limited human perspective, can't possibly grasp. It's like trying to solve a puzzle without seeing the picture on the box, frustrating. The universe, however, has the box cover and knows exactly how all the pieces fit together. One of the most important things to remember is that the universe is always working for your highest good. Even when things seem chaotic or don't go as planned, there's often a hidden blessing or lesson in the experience. It's like ordering a salad and getting a pizza instead, confusing at first, but then you realize you actually wanted the pizza all along. The universe also loves to surprise us. It has a knack for delivering our desires in the most unexpected and delightful ways. Sometimes, what seems like a setback is actually a setup for something amazing. So, instead of questioning every twist and turn, embrace the adventure and trust that the universe knows what it's doing. After all, it has a pretty good track record, it's been running the show since the Big Bang. In the next segment, we'll dive into the power of letting go and how releasing control can actually accelerate your manifestations. So, let's unroll that yoga mat, take a deep breath, and prepare to let go of the reins. The universe is ready to take over. The art of letting go. Now, let's talk about everyone's favorite, and often most challenging, topic, letting go. We've all heard the phrase, let go and let God, but in our case, it's, let go and let the universe. Easier said than done, right? It's like handing over the keys to your dream car and trusting that the universe won't scratch it. But here's the deal, the art of letting go is a crucial part of the manifestation process. Why is letting go so important? Because when you cling too tightly to your desires, you create resistance. It's like trying to force a square peg into a round hole, it just doesn't work. Letting go means trusting that once you've set your intention, the universe will handle the details. It's about releasing the need to control every little aspect and allowing the natural flow of events to unfold. One practical way to practice letting go is through mindfulness and meditation. These practices help you stay present and detach from the outcome. When you're focused on the present moment, you're not obsessing over whether or not your manifestation is on its way. You're simply enjoying life, which, by the way, is a powerful way to raise your vibration and attract what you want. Another technique is to set it and forget it. Think of your manifestation like a letter to the universe. Once you've written it, set your intention, put it in the mailbox, release it to the universe, and trust that it will be delivered at the right time. You don't need to stand by the mailbox, tapping your foot impatiently. The universe is a reliable delivery service. It knows what it's doing. Of course, letting go doesn't mean giving up. It's about finding a balance between desire and detachment. 
You still hold the vision of your desire, but without the anxiety or neediness. It's a relaxed confidence, knowing that your manifestation is on its way. In the next segment, we'll explore the concept of divine timing and why trusting the universe's schedule is a game changer. Stay tuned. Embracing divine timing. Ah, divine timing, the universe's way of saying, patience, young grasshopper. Trusting in divine timing can be a bit like waiting for a kettle to boil. It feels like forever, but when it finally happens, it's worth it. So, why is divine timing so important? Because the universe knows the perfect moment for everything to unfold. It's like baking a cake, you don't want to take it out of the oven too early, or it'll be a gooey mess. Similarly, the universe ensures everything comes together at just the right time. Divine timing teaches us patience and faith. It's a reminder that just because you don't see immediate results doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes. It's like planting a seed and trusting that with time, water, and sunlight, it'll grow into a beautiful flower. You don't stand over the seed, yelling, grow faster. Okay, maybe some of us do, but it doesn't help. One of the best ways to embrace divine timing is to focus on the journey rather than the destination. Celebrate the small wins and synchronicities along the way. These little signs are the universe's way of giving you a wink and a nudge, saying, you're on the right track. Whether it's finding a penny on the ground or receiving a compliment, these moments are breadcrumbs leading you to your manifestation. It's also helpful to reframe any delays as opportunities for growth. Maybe the universe is giving you time to develop the skills or mindset needed to handle your manifestation when it arrives. Or perhaps there's something even better coming your way, and the universe is making sure everything is perfectly aligned. Either way, trust that the timing is always perfect. Remember, the universe doesn't operate on human schedules. It's not punching a clock or checking a calendar. It's working with the flow of energy and the alignment of events. So, when you find yourself getting impatient, take a deep breath, and remind yourself that the universe is a master planner. Your manifestation is on its way, right on time. In the next segment, we'll delve into the importance of aligning your energy with your desires. Because, let's be real, you can't manifest like a millionaire with a scarcity mindset. Get ready to raise your vibes. Aligning your energy with your desires. Alright. Folks, let's get vibing. If you want to manifest your desires, you've got to align your energy with them. It's like tuning a radio to the right frequency. You can't expect to catch your favorite tunes if you're stuck on static. Similarly, if your energy doesn't match what you're trying to manifest, you're going to have a tough time attracting it. So, how do you tune into the right frequency? Let's break it down. First things first, you need to get clear on what you want and why you want it. Your desires are like a GPS for the universe, guiding it to deliver exactly what you're asking for. But it's not enough to just want something. You need to embody the energy of already having it. This means feeling the emotions associated with your manifestation. Want to manifest love. Feel loved and loving. Want to manifest abundance. Feel abundant and grateful. It's all about embodying the vibe. Next, let's talk about gratitude. Gratitude is like the ultimate energy booster. When you're grateful for what you have, you send a powerful signal to the universe that you're open to receiving more. It's like saying, thank you, universe, may I have another? Start a daily gratitude practice, listing out all the things you're grateful for, big and small. It doesn't just make you feel good, it raises your vibration and aligns you with abundance. Another key aspect is staying positive and optimistic. Now, we're not saying you need to be a Pollyanna 24-7, but cultivating a generally positive outlook helps you stay aligned with your desires. Think of it as wearing a pair of rose-colored glasses, not to ignore reality, but to focus on the positive aspects and potential in every situation. When challenges arise, instead of thinking, why is this happening to me? Ask, what can I learn from this? This shift in perspective keeps your energy high and in harmony with the outcomes you want to attract. Visualization is another powerful tool for aligning your energy. Spend time each day vividly imagining your desired reality. Picture it in detail, the sights, sounds, smells, and especially the feelings. How does it feel to live your dream life? The more sensory-rich and emotionally engaging your visualization, the stronger the energetic signal you send out. Remember, the universe responds to the energy of certainty, so visualize with confidence and conviction. Finally, take inspired action. This isn't about forcing things to happen but rather following your intuition and taking steps that feel right. 
When you're aligned with your desires, the universe will present opportunities and nudges. Pay attention to these signs and act on them. Whether it's applying for a job, reaching out to someone, or learning a new skill, these actions reinforce your commitment and align your energy with your goals. Aligning your energy with your desires is like setting the stage for a spectacular show. When your vibe matches your goals, the universe can't help but deliver the goods. In the next segment, we'll discuss how to stay open and receptive to the universe's guidance. Because sometimes, the universe has an even better plan than the one we imagined. Staying open to the universe's guidance. All right, manifestors, it's time to talk about staying open to the universe's guidance. You see, the universe loves to communicate with us, but it's not always through a booming voice from the sky. Sometimes, it's a subtle nudge, a random idea, or even a happy accident. The key is to be open and receptive, ready to catch these divine hints like a baseball player catching a fly ball. One of the best ways to stay open is to cultivate a state of mindfulness. This means being present in the moment and paying attention to what's happening around you. When you're mindful, you're more likely to notice the little synchronicities and signs that the universe sends your way. It could be a conversation you overhear, a book that falls off the shelf, or a sudden urge to go somewhere. These moments are the universe's way of saying, hey, pay attention. Another important aspect is being flexible and adaptable. Sometimes, the universe has a plan that's even better than what we envisioned. It's like ordering a burger and getting a gourmet steak instead. You didn't know you wanted it, but once you have it, you're glad you did. Stay open to the unexpected and be willing to adjust your plans. This flexibility allows you to flow with the universe's guidance rather than resisting it. Listening to your intuition is crucial. Your intuition is like an internal GPS, guiding you towards your highest good. It's that gut feeling or inner knowing that nudges you in a certain direction. The more you trust and act on your intuition, the stronger it becomes. Keep a journal of your intuitive hits and the outcomes they lead to. This practice not only strengthens your intuition but also builds trust in the universe's guidance. And let's not forget about the importance of rest and relaxation. When you're constantly hustling and bustling, it's easy to miss the subtle messages from the universe. Taking time to relax and clear your mind creates space for new insights and ideas to emerge. So, don't feel guilty about taking a break. Sometimes, doing nothing is the best way to receive everything. Staying open to the universe's guidance requires trust, patience, and a willingness to embrace the unknown. In the next segment, we'll talk about how to maintain a positive and expectant mindset, even when things seem uncertain. Because, let's face it, the universe loves a good plot twist. Cultivating a positive and expectant mindset. Now that we're staying open to the universe's guidance, let's focus on cultivating a positive and expectant mindset. This mindset isn't about being overly optimistic or ignoring life's challenges. It's about maintaining a balanced, hopeful outlook that expects good things to happen. It's like being a kid on Christmas Eve, you don't know exactly what's coming, but you're excited because you know it's going to be awesome. Start by reframing your thoughts. When you catch yourself slipping into negative thinking, flip the script. Instead of thinking, nothing ever goes right for me, try, everything is working out for my highest good. This simple shift can transform your energy and keep you aligned with positive outcomes. Remember, thoughts are like magnets. What you focus on, you attract. Affirmations are a fantastic tool for reinforcing a positive mindset. Create a list of affirmations that resonate with your goals and repeat them daily. Phrases like, I am open to receiving all the good the universe has to offer, and, I trust that everything is unfolding perfectly, can help anchor you in a state of positive expectation. The more you repeat these affirmations, the more they become your default way of thinking. Surround yourself with positivity. This includes the people you interact with, the media you consume, and the activities you engage in. Hang out with people who uplift and inspire you, watch shows and read books that make you feel good, and do things that bring you joy. The more positivity you immerse yourself in, the easier it is to maintain an upbeat and expectant mindset. Practice gratitude daily. Gratitude shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life. It's like giving the universe a high five and saying, thanks, keep it coming. Start or end your day by listing things you're grateful for. This practice not only boosts your mood but also raises your vibration, making you a magnet for more blessings. Lastly, embrace the element of surprise. Sometimes, the universe delivers in unexpected ways. 
Keep your mind open and stay curious about how your manifestations will come to fruition. Even if things don't go exactly as planned, trust that the universe has a better outcome in store for you. This mindset keeps you flexible and ready to receive the best life has to offer. Maintaining a positive and expectant mindset is like setting the table for a feast of abundance. In the next segment, we'll explore how to overcome doubt and fear, the two biggest culprits that can sabotage your manifestations. Let's turn those doubts into delightful surprises. Overcoming doubt and fear. All right, it's time to tackle the twin terrors of manifestation, doubt and fear. These sneaky emotions can creep in and derail even the most determined manifester. But don't worry, we're here to arm you with the tools to overcome them. Because let's be honest, doubt and fear are like the annoying backseat drivers of life, always trying to tell you where to go without having a clue themselves. First, let's acknowledge that doubt and fear are natural. Everyone experiences them, even the most successful manifestors. The key is not to let them take the wheel. When doubt and fear arise, don't shove them away. Instead, acknowledge them. Say, hello, doubt. Hi there, fear. I see you, but I'm not giving you the driver's seat. This simple recognition can help diminish their power over you. Next, challenge your doubts and fears with facts. Often, these emotions are based on assumptions, not reality. For example, if you're afraid you won't succeed in a new venture, list all the reasons why you can succeed. Reflect on past achievements, your skills, and the support you have. By grounding yourself in facts, you weaken the hold of baseless fears. Use visualization to reinforce confidence. Whenever doubt and fear try to crash your party, close your eyes and visualize yourself successfully achieving your goal. See yourself thriving, happy, and fulfilled. This mental rehearsal strengthens your belief in yourself and your ability to manifest your desires. It's like giving your mind a preview of the happy ending, reassuring it that everything will turn out great. Affirmations can also be powerful allies in overcoming doubt and fear. Use statements like, I am courageous and capable, or, I trust the process of life. Repeat these affirmations whenever you feel doubt creeping in. They help reprogram your mind to focus on strength and trust rather than fear and uncertainty. Finally, take action despite your fears. Courage isn't the absence of fear, it's the willingness to act in spite of it. Each step you take towards your goal, no matter how small, builds confidence and reduces fear. It's like proving to yourself that you can handle whatever comes your way. The more you face your fears, the smaller they become. Overcoming doubt and fear is a journey, but with practice, you can learn to manage them and keep them from sabotaging your manifestations. In the next segment, we'll discuss the importance of taking inspired action and how to recognize the universe's nudges. Because, let's face it, the universe has a pretty good GPS. Recognizing and taking inspired action. Now that we've got our mindset in check, let's talk about the fun part, taking inspired action. Inspired action isn't about forcing things to happen, it's about following the universe's gentle nudges and acting on them with enthusiasm. It's like dancing with a partner who knows all the right moves. You just have to trust the rhythm and follow the lead. So, how do you recognize inspired action? It's often a feeling of excitement or a strong intuition pulling you in a certain direction. It might be a sudden idea, a chance encounter, or an unexpected opportunity. These are the universe's way of saying, hey, here's a step towards your manifestation. Your job is to notice these signs and take action on them, even if they seem small or unrelated to your end goal. One way to cultivate a habit of taking inspired action is to keep an inspiration journal. Whenever you get an idea, feel a nudge, or experience a synchronicity, jot it down. This practice helps you become more attuned to the universe's guidance and encourages you to act on your inspirations. Plus, it's fun to look back and see how all these little nudges led to big breakthroughs. Don't be afraid to take risks. Inspired action often requires stepping out of your comfort zone. It's like the universe handing you a golden ticket to a new adventure. Yes, it can be scary, but remember, growth happens outside of your comfort zone. Embrace the discomfort as a sign that you're on the right path. The universe wouldn't give you an opportunity if you weren't ready for it. Trust the process. Sometimes, the path to your manifestation won't be a straight line. There may be detours, delays, or even apparent setbacks. But if you keep following the universe's guidance, you'll find that these twists and turns are actually part of the plan. They help you grow, learn, and align more deeply with your desires. Celebrate your actions and the results they bring. 
Every step you take, no matter how small, is a victory. It's a sign that you're in sync with the universe and actively participating in the creation of your life. So, give yourself a pat on the back, enjoy the journey, and keep dancing with the universe. Taking inspired action is a powerful way to align with the universe and manifest your desires. In the next segment, we'll explore the role of gratitude in the manifestation process and how it can amplify your success. Get ready to say, thank you, and watch the magic unfold. The Amplifying Power of Gratitude We've talked about a lot of powerful tools for manifestation, but now it's time to bring out the big guns. Gratitude. Gratitude isn't just a polite, thank you, it's a powerful force that amplifies your manifestations and transforms your entire experience of life. Think of it as the secret sauce that makes everything taste better. The more you pour it on, the more delicious your life becomes. Why is gratitude so powerful? Because it shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant. When you express gratitude, you're acknowledging all the good in your life, which raises your vibration and aligns you with more blessings. It's like turning on a magnet that attracts even more things to be grateful for. The universe loves a grateful heart and responds by giving you even more reasons to be thankful. Start a daily gratitude practice. Each morning or evening, write down at least three things you're grateful for. They can be big things, like a promotion at work, or small joys, like a beautiful sunset. The key is to really feel the gratitude as you write. Let that warm, fuzzy feeling wash over you. This emotional engagement is what makes gratitude so potent. Extend your gratitude to future manifestations. Thank the universe in advance for the things you're manifesting, as if they've already arrived. This practice reinforces your belief that they're on their way and strengthens your connection to them. It's like sending a preemptive thank you note to the universe, letting it know you're ready to receive. Express gratitude for challenges and lessons. This one's a bit trickier, but it's a game changer. When you can find gratitude in difficult situations, you transform them into opportunities for growth. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this situation serve me? This perspective not only helps you navigate challenges but also accelerates your personal growth and manifestations. Share your gratitude with others. Express appreciation for the people in your life and the experiences you share. Whether it's a heartfelt, thank you, to a friend or a compliment to a stranger, spreading gratitude creates a ripple effect that uplifts everyone. Plus, it feels amazing to brighten someone else's day. Gratitude is a powerful amplifier of abundance and joy. In the final segment, we'll wrap up our journey by reminding you of the power of trust in the universe and how to carry this trust into every aspect of your life. Let's bring it all together and set you up for a year of incredible manifestations. The power of trust bringing it all together. We've journeyed through the cosmos of manifestation, exploring the magic of trusting the universe. From understanding the universe's plan and the art of letting go, to aligning your energy, overcoming doubt, taking inspired action, and embracing gratitude, it's been quite the adventure. Now, it's time to bring it all together and remind you of the ultimate key to manifestation success, trust. Trusting the universe is about having faith that everything is unfolding perfectly, even when it doesn't seem like it. It's about knowing that every twist and turn is part of a greater plan designed for your highest good. It's like having an unshakable belief in a happy ending, no matter how wild the plot twists get. When you trust the universe, you release the need to control and allow the flow of abundance to guide you. Carry this trust into every area of your life. Whether you're manifesting a dream career, a loving relationship, or personal growth, remember that the universe has your back. Trust that the right people, opportunities, and experiences will come into your life at the perfect time. And when they do, greet them with open arms and a grateful heart. Remember, trust doesn't mean passivity. It's an active, vibrant faith that involves setting intentions, taking action, and staying open to the universe's guidance. It's about co-creating your reality with the universe, dancing together in a beautiful, synchronistic partnership. So, keep setting those intentions, keep taking those inspired actions, and keep believing in the magic of the universe. As we wrap up, we want to remind you once again, we've been shadow banned, so your support is crucial. If you enjoyed this video and want to help us reach over 11 million people by the end of 2024, please like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Spread the love and wisdom, and let's create a massive ripple effect of positivity and abundance. Thank you for joining us on this journey of trust and manifestation. We're excited to see the incredible things you'll manifest in 2024. 
Remember, the universe is your greatest ally, and with trust, anything is possible. Until next time, keep believing, keep trusting, and keep manifesting your dreams. Happy manifesting!